so loud. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Press A Gaming. Wild High 77 plays Final Fantasy 12. When last we left off a long time ago, we found the Hunter's Camp here. And, whoops. We could take a quick look. I believe... Yeah, we were working our way to Arcades there. But we made it to the Fawn Coast area, and this is where we left off at the moment. So, I don't even remember who my party is. Okay, Fran, Ash, and Bon. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can get involved in from here. That pops out a new one. Let's see where this goes from here. I believe we're still just kind of exploring and hoping to find where we're supposed to go, so we'll just go with that. While killing some silver lobos. Yeah. And with that, Fran levels up. And we'll go beat up on the piranha that's hiding in the corner here. There we go. And you guys all put your weapons away. Good. And, uh... Bran, I believe you'll go back. Bosh, you'll come out. For any type of treasure. Okay, this dude is not a threat. Let's see what we got going on here. Awesome sauce. That's right, I said it. Hello. This kind of just leads off nowhere. Where does this go, I wonder? Wow, this pops me all the way over here. It's kind of like a shortcut. To where, I don't know. Brings me to some enemies. A lot of enemies. I don't know how I feel about this. Looks like the only way through is through. Alright, only thing we could do is attack. with it and see what we do. I hate wasting something like this on this, but I'm not really set up for anybody to do this. To handle winged creatures. That was stupid. Oh, we got Inferno out of it. Well, I killed it. That's definitely a bonus. Yeah, 
found 223 gil, never a bad thing. So, of course, what am I going to do? I'm going to go pick a fight with you. <laughs> yeah. You know why I'm going to pick a fight with you? Because Mama raised an idiot. Right, Mama? Ooh, nice triple hit. What the hell was that? Oh, I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this, but you know what? You only live once. Might as well have fun. Oh my god, it's got... High HP. But we are doing some damage to it, so I mean, it's not too terrible. Yay, we killed it! No big deal. And got a gold needle for our effort, so not terrible of a, of a situation. Kill it. It's only a Lobo. Kill it. Kill him, too. I must have hit a su uh, surprise trap or something. It's the only thing I can come up with. Alright, let's take a look at the map here. I have a feeling I gotta go this way and see what's over in the horizon. If anything at all. Besides the treasure chest. Got a high potion. And a save point, which is welcome to heal everybody up. We'll take that save real quick. Yes. Remember, in a Final Fantasy game, if you come across a save point, save. All right. Back to the game at hand. Vera Wayfarer. Where do you go, Wayfarer? To the east lie the Ticket of the Uplands. To the north, across the plains, lies the seat of the Empire, Arcades. So we need to go north. Myself, I shall go east to the port town of Baffelheim. I have no idea how to say that. I've, I have heard it's a place where men and women value freedom above all else. Good to know. Well, we're finding a new land area. We found the uplands. Now, we already know we got to go north. Now, let me ask you guys a question while I'm playing and we're just kind of kind of working our way through a little bit here and exploring. Uh, when I finish Final Fantasy 12, I do have Final Fantasy 10, 10 2, and Final Fantasy 15 for the uh, PS4. Uh, question to you guys is I've beaten 15, I've beaten 10, I've never beaten 10 2. Um, 
would you guys like to see Let's Plays of those Final Fantasies? I'm not going to do it until I'm done with this, and probably not until I'm done with Final Fantasy VII as well. Uh, just because I've got a lot of Let's Plays going on. Uh, case in point, this one hasn't been even done in how long? Because of the fact of doing, uh, well, the main priority is Final Fan or, yeah, Fallout 4. I want to get that completed before Fallout 76 comes out. I do intend fully to do a, a Let's Play with that. So... You're silencing my silencer? Not okay. Just for that, I'm gonna run over and get this little treasure chest. And then I'm gonna put Bosch away. Bring out Pinello. And if I remember correctly, Pinello actually has the ability. Let's see here. Maybe she doesn't. Resist magic, blind, poison, raises defense. Okay, maybe she doesn't. Hmm. Okay, well, an item it must be then. Because I need my healer to be able to heal. Alright, good. So we're going to continue pushing in a northern lane fashion. So yeah, that's something to think about and leave in the comment section down below on YouTube. Uh, and if you jump up on Twitch TV and talk to me here, you can let me know here, of course. But would love your opinion on whether or not to continue with the Final Fantasy series and maybe a tackle... Final Fantasy 10 or 15, uh, I would quite honestly be more interested in doing 15 first, as I've got a playthrough of Final Fantasy 10 going, not online, but just for myself, and I'd really not want to start from scratch all over again. I'm sure it's not, but it looks as good at fall, uh, closer to Fallout than, uh, Assassin Creed does to uh, uh, Dead Souls or whatever it is you play. What's up, Doc? In a blue box. Good to see you there. <laughs> how was your How was your uh, Let's Play? I told you it's PS4. PS4 does not like changing it for whatever its reason. Every reason it doesn't like doing it, but the Xbox One has no issue with it whatsoever. So, even more reason to get an Xbox One. Let's go take out that other Marlboro Over King. Yeah. Speaking of, you'd be proud of me. Speaking of Assassin's Creed. I have on my Xbox One re-downloaded uh, Assassin's Creed 3, Revelations, and I forget what the other one is. It's not the, like, China, Russia, and India ones. It's the, uh, as far as I know, it's the actual gameplays. Now, see, that's no way to talk about Richard J. He's not here to defend himself, Hungry Hungry Hippo. Not nice. Besides, that's Hungry Hungry Welshman. That's right, I'm throwing shade. You guys can talk trash when I'm not there. Nah, it's all love. Alright, Vaughn leveled up. Yay, Vaughn. He's feeling better about life. Okay. How about we take care of the websites we have before starting a new one? But okay, what's a new website? I'll bite. 
made me spit my drink out. Nice! I knew you were a spitter. Kirstie told me. Going for the fight, going for the kill. Assassin's Creed Cannon Library. I don't know. But then again, it probably has a better fan base than uh, freaking Star Wars right now. But that's okay. Because there's always Space Force. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not the world's greatest fan of the franchise. That does not mean that there isn't a market out there for people who absolutely love the game. I'm not a fan of Fast and Furious, but I'm sure if you put a Fast and Furious uh, library together, somebody would be down for it. So, don't take my word for it just because I don't like it. <laughs> I can't. No! Not okay. Now, which one? I want you on that one. So, you want to actually attack? Thank you. Are you dead yet? Thank you. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's take a look at the map here. I'm assuming I'm going to have to go this way, and then I should be able to go north. Let's see here. Now, I could be completely freaking wrong. Yeah. Alright, well, why don't you send a uh, party request, and you can actually co-commentate with me. I did not realize that Ash was silent again. Fight! Fight! Alright, I'll be here. Now we got some thieves. That's an interesting com uh, possibility here. Alright, we got two thieves. And they want to beat on us and be rude. We can't let that happen, so let's do this. Alright, Pinello level. I think I'm going to leave her in for a while. No. No, I got to be right. I got to be fair. Pinello back, Balthier out. Balthier needs the opportunity to grow as well. And while we're at it, what am I looking at here? Let's go handle this guy. Another one over there, whoa. Going pretty all right, I'd say. Yeah. Do have sap on bond, but it will wear off over time. Yeah. 
Come on, work it, work it, guys, work it. all of them. Eighteen gill. And we get a whole bunch of snakes at us. No, that's not okay. We were suckered in. Oh my god. Can't do it. You can. I don't care which one. Let's just throw one out there. I never miss. My regards. Mom, baby. Please. Second attack down. Let's see if I can get more. I must endure. I hate how it does that. I don't get why it won't let me. It, it gives me the option to hit somebody, and I hit somebody, and it doesn't do it. But whatever. Hopefully, this helps clear some of that out because that's getting a little dangerous being that surrounded. Did nothing of what I hoped. But we kind of did survive. Yeah. Oh my god. Where did you come from? All dead. Good. And this is a spot I can't even do anything at anyway, so... Back down we go. Well, I hate to say it, but even if it winds me in a spot... That takes me back to another village, at least then I can, like, stock up on supplies, sell off some of the shit I got. get a save stone. I hate to do this, but I gotta get rid of that. It's becoming an issue. Fire damage. Ice damage. Oh my god, and then I got another one of those goddamn snakes. Got a dagger out of that. We all know how important a dagger is. Another one dead. Okay, moving along. She said if we head east, we find a town. But if we head north, we hit Arcades. I'm almost thinking now maybe we should head east and find that town. Because my guys are a little beat up. Oh my god. 
And that is my final Phoenix down. All right, and from this point, Balthier, I gotta put you back and they bring Fran back out because she can actually cure as we have another snake coming. Just remedy yourself. That's got to get rid of it. It did. Thank God. Let's see here. Apparently it's a way down here, so let's see where this goes. Oh my god. Oh, thank Christ. Save stone! Save. No. I want to save. Oh, come on. Save. Yes. We are restored now. Let's take a look at what this little wayfarer has to say. This weak kneed bango is worthless, utterly worthless, just like every other hunter my father employs. You wouldn't happen to be a hunter, would you? i like to hire you to deal with a terrible menace in the Sokrin K Palace. A terrible menace plagues the Sokrin K Palace, calling hail hunters of all ages and races to deal with this scourge upon us. Warning, this is not an official bill and will not be listed in the clan primer. Ah, uh, ask about the dire threat, sure. East of here you come to the highlands, north of here lies the fields of eternity, wherein can be found the entrance to Toshin. The foul scourge I wish you to defeat lurks within the cave palace. Many hunters have been sent and all have come running home. Incidentally, I have no idea what this scourge is or looks like. No one that returns will speak of it. Intriguing, no? My father, wanting to know the identity of this fell creature, thought to post a bill for the mark, but he was refused. Having no other choice, he employed two hunters from the hunter's camp on the Fawn Coast and sent them to Soshin K Palace. A pity they were worthless. I waited with my father at the entrance to the cave, and they came running back out mere moments later. They ran right past my father, their employer. Unbelievable. Enraged, I gave chase and was separated from my father. Anyway, I'm glad we met. Were I to hire better hunters than my father and defeat this monstrosity, oh, the respect I'd earn back in Arcades. So you're hired. Use this key to get into the cavern while, where you'll find the creature, and no coming back until you've slain it. Alright, so... We picked up a weird hunt. But I guess if we come across that, we'll check it out. Before we do anything else, though, let's take a look at licenses, because we do have some points here that we can use. It's never a terrible idea. I don't know what that is. Oh, to have Excalibur. Looking to see if there's anything I actually have pieces of. Uh, gambit slot, motor. The last thing in the world I need is more gambit slots since I barely use gambits. Which really I should think about using more gambits. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty lax when it comes to that. You know what? I'm just gonna 
start unlocking because there's a lot here that needs to be unlocked. All right, what do you got? Ball fear for Machinus or Black Mage? I think I need more Black Mage out of him. like a total ripoff to the Star Wars canon library. Try something a little bit more original. <laughs> yeah, it almost sounds like he's ripping off that guy that created that great uh, show, Star Wars canon library. I agree with you 120%. He should really get some original ideas. <laughs> oh, man. Love good humor. Looking to see what may be useful here. Oh, you could use that. Oh, you could definitely use that, but not right now. Uh, let's see here. What's going to be more useful to me? Ah, okay. Well, it's cool that you're being serious, but uh, just to let you know, Doc in the Blue Box is the guy from Star Wars Scanner Library. That's why I thought you were joking. I'll just go with that and move on. Yeah, that's why I thought you were joking around and playing because of the fact that you would mention Star Wars Canon Library, which kudos to you that you know Star Wars Canon Library. But yeah, uh, Doc in the Blue Box is actually Brian Miller, the uh, keeper of the canon. So that's probably why it sounds the exact same because it's from the same creator. Yeah. I shit you not. You're my favorite turd. I wouldn't shit you. That is Brian Miller. Alright, let's take a look at Archer. That would be a bad idea to see about better range weapons here. Uh, we'll do that bow. Just unlock things. Go. Let's see here. Need to unlock more. Oh yeah, increase his physical damage. That's definitely useful. That's correct, and he will be back too. I take it you're a fan. Which I'm sure he would definitely appreciate. Yeah, you don't have to believe me. Talk to, talk to him when he comes. Be for yourself. But considering he works with Realm of the Mist Entertainment and I'm the founder of Realm of the Mist Entertainment, I'm pretty sure I know who Brian Miller is. <laughs> so I take no ill will at the fact that you don't believe me, but talk to him yourself when he comes back. He's going to be back in a few minutes. to figuring out what I want to spend my license points on. I think it's going to be more important. Yes way. Definitely for her. She desperately needs things like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Alright, now you... 
Let's just automatically get you set up with this type of stuff here. 25. Do we have anything that 25 will cover? See? I don't lie to people that watch my shows or support me or my friends, so... Welcome to Realm of the Mist Entertainment. And as I said, in a few he will be back, so you'll be able to say hello, and I'm sure he'll answer any questions you may have. Well, while we're waiting for him to come back, I can actually kind of answer that. I know he's intending this coming week uh, to to return. As a fan, I'm sure you know he uh, he has a nine to five normal job out there in Kansas, which is. Uh, doing wheat harvest and unfortunately that took him away on hiatus but his season is now done so he is going to be getting back to uh doing his weekly uh star wars canon podcast as well as uh we're i forget if we're talking about keeping journal of the jedi going or if it's just going to get combined into the uh podcast I think that's something that he and I still have to work, hash out, but I do know he's going back to Star Wars Canon Library here this coming week. So, keep an eye out for that. Yeah. By the way, since you are a fan of uh, Brian Miller, yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's me, Chris Stolle from Journal of the Jedi, breaking the fourth wall. Uh, I've seen, been seen on War of the Stars and a couple of the other shows too. So, how you doing? Uh, little known fact, I'm actually supposed to be one of the uh, new librarians to the Star Wars Canon Library. <laughs> Ryan has hired me. I don't know if we have officially... Uh... Well, make sure you follow. Follow me and follow Doc in the Blue Box, because uh, besides doing the podcast stuff, we do this stuff for uh, what we call Press A Gaming. So more than welcome to come check out some of the gameplays we do and streams we do live and every once in a great while especially on tuesday you, do you know the podcast called uh the cocky cockpit are you familiar with that uh, star wars podcast Uh, every Tuesday, Brian and myself, with the guys from the Cocky Cockpit, jump on Twitch uh, and multi-stream uh, Battlefront 2, where we just sit and bullshit and talk Star Wars while playing really terribly at Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> Definitely come check that out. Every Tuesday usually uh, starts at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time Zone. Right, let's take a look at this map. I don't know where I'm at. And, of course, uh, our ultimate goal is to have a uh, an eight-man team on those Tuesday nights. So if you yourself play or you know people that play that want to jump in on it, you know, make sure you send a friend request to myself or Doc in a blue box, and we can definitely add you or whoever in that may want to sit in and join. Uh, PlayStation 4 uh, is what we mainly use for the uh, Battlefront 2. 
I might I don't have Battlefront 2 for Xbox One, but I do own both systems, so some games that I play will be on the uh, Xbox One, some will be on the PS4. Case in point, this is PS4. That I'm playing right now. Nothing wrong with that. I do have a copy of the original Battlefront on Xbox One, so... I say original like it's the original original. <laughs> Use a quickening if I can. Because I have way too many snakes around me right now. Alright, let's see here. Nothing wrong with that. For the longest time, I was a Xbox guy. I didn't get into PS4 until I got one for, uh, for Christmas. Yep, Brian's playing Origins. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna get one more hit out of this. Oh my god. We got six going on now. I must endure. I didn't get any more than that. That's alright though. That's the best chain we've gotten out of this thus far. Nothing wrong with that at all. Oh yeah, as a, as a matter of fact, he's going to be joining me uh, uh, very soon too with doing the uh, the radio stuff for RadioCastFM.com where we are going to be revamping uh, one of our shows called It Had to Be Said into an almost kind of like radio morning show where we'll just talk general current events and pretty much make fun of them. So, if you're a fan of that, definitely check that out. It's coming soon. It'll be on Saturdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. Still in talks, though, on whether it's going to be pre-recorded or if it's going to be a live recording. We haven't decided yet. Uh, yeah, we don't make enough money. <laughs> Um, we just do it to enjoy it, man. We, we like putting out content for people. I mean, as long as people want to hear it or see it, we'll put it out there, so. As long as guys like you, as long as people like you are down to, you know, have us in your living room, bedroom, whatever, that you're watching us or listening to us on, we're going to put out content for you, so. I appreciate it. I think this is the cave I'm supposed to go into. I don't like the fact that all my guys have like no... Uh, no magic whatsoever. Ether to Vaughn. Oh, well I guess Vaughn doesn't get any. All right, here we go. You will now have the not. You will now have the option of saving your game. All right, so I guess I gotta. Don't worry about the blue screen. I'm just saving. I haven't gone anywhere. I am coming back. Not yet. Yeah, soon, but not yet. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. I'm Chris from the Star Wars uh, Podcast. Hey, you sure this rabbit hole's really the way into Arcades? Better a hare unseen than a rat in a trap. Then again, if you'd prefer to go knocking on the front gates of the city, be my guest. But what about once we're inside? Won't the city watch find us? We'll do what we can to blend into the crowd. Our names may be notorious, but our faces are not far known. True. Well, I truly appreciate it, man. I really, really do. You. I know. Right. I know. But he's got to know about this. All right, so now we're in a cave. Let's take a look at the map here. Oh. 
thing. He's, he's got to hurry up and come back. He's. Yeah. I I definitely agree, and I mean, I mean, I I try to think that we do, uh, to an extent, like, not uh, purposely go out to offend. You know what I mean? Uh, people are definitely entitled to their opinion, especially when it comes to things like art, be it Star Wars or movies in general, or you know whatever the case may be. But I'm not gonna. I myself personally am not gonna spare somebody's feelings either, you know, if they don't like what I have to say. And I know Brian's pretty much in the same mindset as I am, and like, especially now with the uh, crap going on with, you know, uh, them shutting down the Star Wars uh, story show uh, movies and stuff of that nature, and they can, they can spin whatever they want to spin about it. It's really about the backlash of Solo and The Last Jedi and things of that nature uh, that caused this to happen. I'm not going to sugarcoat the fact that, you know, we're fans of Star Wars are going to be deprived of Star Wars simply because a bunch of people got their panties in a bunch that their fan theories didn't come true. And that's not fair to everybody else in any way shape or form you know my kids for an example who love star wars simply because they love star wars are going to be denied the opportunity to see new star wars content like that because somebody didn't like the fact that admiral hodo didn't explain to a subordinate her plan or you know luke wasn't the guy that he was in in the extended universe and stuff, stuff of that nature, and stuff like that, it, it's just, it's very whiny to me. And, like I said before, I, you know, if you listen to the show, as you know, I don't care for the preach that has been going on in the newer Star Wars movies, the, uh, the hidden, uh, agenda, social justice warrior agenda. I don't care what side of the political fence you stand on, what you believe is what you believe, I just don't believe it belongs in a Star Wars film. And this is the exact reason why I think it's very polarizing to the fan base, in which case, what happens? Everybody gets screwed. I think politics should stay out of the movies. At least, at least if politics need to be in the movies because of the fact that they've always been in the movies, at least don't have them so one-sided. Yeah. If, if that makes sense. But when you heavy hang your own agenda, you alienate others that just came to enjoy a movie and now are being preached to on something that they don't necessarily believe in. <laughs> and uh, quite honestly, I'm pissed because you know Solo was a movie I didn't I didn't want. I'm fine with it for what it was, but I didn't I didn't want the movie myself. But now I'm going to be denied the movie I did want, Obi Wan. Obi-Wan was the movie we were all hoping to get, and now we're not going to get it because people had to play these games. And I don't think that's right. I don't think that's fair. But I also don't think there's really anything I can do about it, except for tell people how shitty they are for screwing it up for everybody else. Not much else I could say on it, I guess. All right, so another one down. Let's see here. Well, what about you? I mean, how, how do you feel about it? I mean, I'm sure you've watched the shows. You know where Brian and I stand, but this is the first time we've gotten the chance to talk to you. How do you feel about it? What's going on?
heal her, please. Thank you. And while we're at it, get rid of that thing. Thank you. Now kill that last imp. I definitely agree with that. And I, in fact, I saw that on Collider Jedi Council today where they were talking about something. One, one thing I believe was Christian Harloff said was the one who said it, and I wholeheartedly agree with him on, is that uh, Lucasfilm definitely needs to take a, a page out of... Uh, Unlock with a soul key. Um, needs to take a page out of Marvel and actually have a continuity plan where all these movies tie in to each other better. Uh, I think one of the major problems that they're having is they're so sporadic, but they're what's weird is they're sporadic, but staying in pretty much the same time area, which is right in between episode three and four, besides the new saga. But everything else is like so sporadic and and almost contradictory to each other at times that it almost feels and seems like they don't really know what's the term I'm looking for here they don't really know it, how they want these stories to inter interconnect with each other they're just kind of making it up as they go along and hoping that it connects together in some way shape or form and to be fair that's not necessarily a terrible thing uh, but it is a Hey, Brian, I'd like you to meet Dr. Malice, who is a fan of the Star Wars Canon Library and did not believe me at first that you were, in fact, Brian Miller. Say hello. while I'm in a boss fight. You, let's see here, what do we got that could be useful? Of course he is. Yeah, I got a bunch of them together. Keep me alive. Alright, send me that party invite. Attack. Him. He's the weakest one. He's almost dead. Kill him. Alright, guys. Bear with me a moment. As I jump back into this and hope nobody dies while I'm getting this together. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up? I am here. All and right. Yes. Dr. Malice was sitting here and we were talking and he, he at first he was picking on Doc in a blue box for uh, talking about the Assassin's Creed uh, Canon Library and had said that it was a uh, sounded like a complete ripoff of Star Wars Canon Library <laughs> and I thought he was joking it's like yeah you know it sounds like a dumbass idea you know I'm playing along thinking he was joking he's like no I'm serious 
I said, well, you do know Doc in the Blue Box is Brian Miller, the guy who created Star Wars Canon Library. So if it's a ri if it sounds like a ripoff, it's because it's from the same guy. And he, he didn't believe me at first until <laughs> he looked at your profile. He said, holy shit, it's Brian Miller. You know, and... <laughs> it's and, me. And the, you see, he's, uh, he's talking to me right now. Oh, my God, Brian, I am a huge fan. Oh, yeah, I see it. Hey, what's up, man? Cool, I appreciate it. And then, of course... Uh, Later on through the conversation, he discovered that, uh, in fact, I am your partner in crime in Journal of the Jedi and Star Wars Canon Podcast. <laughs> so It's rubbing he, off on you, bud. He knows, he knows both of us, so. That's and, fucking cool, man. And is a huge fan, so. That's fucking cool. How long have you been a fan, man? Oh yeah, ask your questions, definitely. He's got a cannon question? Yeah, he says he's got a cannon oh, question. Man, we're gonna end up hijacking your freaking stream, bud. That's fine. Now, are you any <laughs> question, question, Dr. Malice, before you ask your question? Are you able to hear Brian? Because I don't know if it's set up to allow for, for the party or not, so I want to make sure. Okay, good. Then definitely ask your question. Yeah, I don't mind hijack the stream. Anything for the fans. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, lay your question on me, brother. There we go. Now it allows me to concentrate on the boss fight I'm in. <laughs> Fair enough. him alive. I need him alive. And you, Echoers. <laughs> Dude, what are you playing anyway? Final Fantasy 12. Okay, uh, that's what I thought. You see Dr. Malice's uh, question? No. Oh, wait. Uh, what's up with Darth Maul coming back? Is Solo, I thought Obi Wan showed him. Okay, so what, so why is Maul in Solo? Yep. Is, is that what is that what you're getting at? I, I believe that's that's his uh, question. Uh, well, uh, I'm assuming you haven't watched any Clone Wars stuff. Uh, they brought Darth Maul back in Clone Wars. I think it was season four. They brought him back in, and uh, he had some dope and deadly legs and uh, these robotic limbs. And his brother Savage or Press actually is the one who found him and brought him back. He's not a Darth anymore. He's not a Sith. He's just Maul. That's that's his name, Maul. And uh, the we, we saw him run away in Clone Wars, and then we didn't see anything of him again until he pops up in Rebels, uh, you know, years and years down the road. Uh, but we don't know really what he was up to in between, and, and him popping up in Solo, which is in between those two franchises, uh, is kind of the start of a new arc, I think, if they continue to, you know, to, if they continue that arc in some form or fashion now. Um, but I feel like that's the beginning of a new story arc for him, because that's something that was never mentioned in any of the other uh, material anywhere. But, the, but the, the way he's still alive is his hatred for Obi-Wan that kept him alive when he went down the pit. And it was like a garbage pit. He got dumped on this garbage planet, and uh, he had these giant, like, robotic spider legs that he crafted to keep him alive, and he ended up going batshit crazy. And uh, he... Uh, Savage finds him, and then brings him back, and the Dathomir witches kind of reform his legs and and uh, kind of give him his mind back, and, and he and Savage kind of go against Alpacan. All right, so there you oh. go. Nice, nice, quick answer from the librarian himself. Yeah, man, that's crazy, man. I, the one freaking time I have to get up and, and go do something else. <laughs> well, again, when he when he first when he first was uh, contacting and saying that, I really thought it was just a joke. You know. Um, <laughs> Hang on, I gotta go back and read the other comments. Yeah, go ahead. Hang on. No, go ahead. Oh, you can go. You gonna keep telling me? I was just. Oh no I no. Go that, back and read the other comments. No, that's fine. I'm just saying. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. All right, as long as nobody's silenced. These guys are annoying. 
<laughs> he thought it was a ripoff. Dude, I, yeah, no, that's, I was kidding about the Assassin's Creed uh, canon library thing. I was making a joke to, uh, to Kirsty the other night. I think it was last night about it, because there's so many novels and comics and stuff to go with Assassin's Creed. You know, now that we know the Watch Dogs universe is crossed over with Assassin's Creed, it's like, there's so much shit there that I'm really keeping up with the canon library as it is, let alone the entire another universe, you know? Right. God, this is so annoying. They won't die. <laughs> so how's it feel, man? Uh, even on Twitch, man, that's that's crazy. Like it's look. The, there's only why could, there's one. There was one other time right after I started the Canon Library where I ran into somebody who uh, who recognized me, and I was actually at Barnes and Noble getting. I think it was Aftermath Life Day. And that's how far back it was. Think about that. So, right. Uh, and and uh, this little boy, I forget what his name was. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot his name. Uh, I want to say it was Jackson. I believe that was his name. I could be wrong, but I think his name was Jackson. And he was like seven or eight years old. And he recognized me in Barnes and Noble, and he was there getting the new Star Wars book too. And uh, nice. he was like, "Are you Brian?" I'm like, "Yeah." How? Yeah. I'm like, "Why? What do you mean?" He goes, Brian North that does the Star Wars videos? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, I watch all your videos. And my first thought was, oh, shit, I got to start watching my fucking mouth. Like, uh -huh. I cuss like a sailor in my videos. Like, <laughs> So, but, uh, yeah, that, that was the only other time it happened. And, and Currency thought it was cool. But, uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. To just come across somebody online that's heard of it. Because like, you can't help but feel like, especially, like, for me, that... You know, my stuff's not really getting out there, you know, less than a thousand subscribers on YouTube and, you know, and whatnot. It, it's hard, it's, it's weird to think that somebody, that you come across somebody out there who's seen your stuff. Oh, absolutely. Uh, again, with uh, Realm of the Mist being so relatively new, uh, for lack of a better term, and, you know, as much as I push and promote and push and promote, we just are very stagnant in our growth. Yeah. I definitely know where you're coming from. It's, it's so great that somebody had, knows, you know, the, the the content that we are putting out. And right. what was uh, what was your thoughts on the last shot? Uh, what? He asked, "What were your thoughts oh, on the last oh. shot?" I thought you were asking. I thought you were asking me on like, what did I think of the last time you shot that guy? And I'm like, uh, no, no, you have no, a sword. no. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> uh, Okay, so Malice is asking. Last yeah. shot, the novel last shot. Um, yeah, it was all right. It was it wasn't one of the best in the in the series so far. Yeah. It was one of those where uh, it definitely had its flaws, but I can kind of see the the mark they were aiming for. They just I, I don't I feel like they just barely missed it a little bit. But it's still it was a fun read. Um, one of the most complex villains I've ever seen in a Star Wars novel. No, I don't want to say complex. One of the most like bone chilling villains I've ever seen um, the guy was absolutely brutal like uh, he was trying to meld droid parts with uh, organics and make these uh, cybernetic bees because he thought droids were superior to humans and and it's and, and the way he used to be a surgeon on Utapau so the first time he does this like he's got his dying friend in front of him and he saves his life and then he's like he looks at his droid and he's like how would you like to have a, a, a real arm so he kills his friend that he just saved he cuts his arm off and gives it to the droid and, and integrates it onto his droid. So it's really, really twisted the way the villain was in that book. But uh, my biggest flaw with the book was that it, it just it brought too much uh, modern-day, real-life swearing into it. You know, Star Wars has its own version of swearing, saying blast, carabast, you know, Sith spit, cripe, you know, stuff like that. Where I don't feel like you need to bring in words like, you know, ass and, you know, it's just... And I know they did it in Last Jedi also with Poe, because Poe's really got a, uh, you know, he's got a potty mouth. He really does, uh, when you think about it. But I just, <laughs> I didn't want to see it in that book, because you don't hear Han and Lando ever say those words anywhere else in canon. You know what I mean? Right. So, it's just, it kind of took me out of it a little bit. That one, get it killed. I myself have not read the book yet, so I, I'm so far behind 
Brian <laughs> when it comes to uh, to well, the hell, uh, to the can and stuff. Right now, too. I haven't even started most wanted yet. That just came I out though, to. right? Yeah, it came out right before my harvest season started, like the day before. So huh? I haven't had a chance to to get to it. No, no, he's telling. He's talking about a new book. No, uh, most wanted. It's a new book. Oh yeah, but yeah, that that's the newest one that just came out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hell, I need to catch. I still need to catch up on freaking uh, comics. Yeah, dude, the new Star Wars annual is sick. Is it? It's freaking cool. Yeah. Um, the new annual is, you know, the, it, they started on the annuals, and thank God, because it makes my job a hell of a lot easier. It <laughs> says where the comic takes place now in the timeline. So oh, like, nice. this one says immediately after Star Wars issue number eight is where this one happens. So I'm like, oh my God, that helps so much. Because you read some of the some of the annuals, and you're like, where the fuck this, you know, like, what the fuck, like, where does this go? So thank God they started doing that. But uh, no, the, this new, the, the annual introduced a new ancient Sith War. Uh, named Darth Atreus, and uh, he had these two lightsabers that were cross guard sabers. And Sana Solo gets a hold of them. And I'm sorry, Sana Staros, however you, whatever you want to call her. Uh, she gets a hold of them, but she splits them in two, and she sells one to one. She tries to sell one to these uh, like <laughs> crime lords, and tries to sell the other one to an Imperial to get the Darth Vader. Right. And both of them simultaneously are like, oh my god, it's so awesome holding this, but where's the other one? <laughs> like, they both know that there's two of them, but she got kind of got caught in the middle. Well, Vader ends up with one of them, and Luke actually ends up with the other one. And it's said that he put so much anger into his kills with, that, with those lightsabers, that anybody who holds those lightsabers can still feel that rage and that anger. Um, to the point where even Vader's holding one of them, and he goes, god, the, the, you know, the, the rage is so strong it's clouding even my judgment. And uh, Luke's got one of them, and Luke goes on a fucking killing spree and kills these guys. They're trying to fuck with him, and he's just like, oh god, no. And so, like, he ends up destroying that saber, and when Vader finds out that whoever had it destroyed it, he destroys his. Oh, it's wow. Like, oh, come on! Like, now I want to know who the fuck Darth Atreus was. Well, see, the cool thing about that, uh, which, which, speaking on my own behalf here, is I've actually given thoughts to that ever since they've introduced. Emotions and feelings to lightsaber crystals, to the, the kybers, yeah. to the kyber crystals. I wondered that, like, can a uh, blooded uh, kyber crystal be healed? Not necessarily yeah. where it changes back color, but you know, all the rage and malice that was put into it, can it be taken away from it? You know, yeah. where where like a light side really? user could use it, it use it, it and stuff, and would it reverberate the dark side that was poured into it? You, you actually can because Ahsoka did it uh, in the Ahsoka novel when she takes the Inquisitors the, I think it was the Sixth Son I think is who she was fighting in the Ahsoka novel she took his saber and purified those crystals that's why her crystal that's why her blades are white it completely those those crystals in her sabers and rebels are from an Inquisitor's lightsaber that she okay. purified so okay so, well yeah, that, uh, that, that, that is possible Malice just asked, what do we think of the ky uh, Kyber Crystal color changes? I will be honest with you. I'll answer this one first. I'll be honest with you. When Disney first announced it, I was not a fan. Uh, quite honestly, I looked at it very much as uh, just trying to explain something off for the sake of explaining something off. But in reality... Um, I was more of a fan of the way it was set up in uh, in, in in the EU, where you know the, the the natural crystals were the blue, the yellow, the green, whatever the case may be, and the, the red orange, were the purple, yeah, right. And the red was actually uh, uh, generic. It was it was uh, manufactured it, uh, synthetic, yeah, synthetic. Thanks for the word. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I really liked that. I liked the fact that this Sith the had guy. to had to uh, manufacture their crystals rather than being able to get them naturally uh, through the course of the world. I thought that was a better play. 
that being said, though, I don't really have an issue with what they did uh, right. with this. This works just as well because it kind of shows how a uh, how even the most purest thing can be corrupted by the dark side. That much rage and hate can bleed a crystal. That's crazy. Right. Yeah. You know, See, so. I'm, I'm kind of like I'm kind of along along the lines with you. That's one of those things that happened in canon that. I never really liked. I uh, I liked it better the other way. That's one of those things that I n never really grew on me. You know, so uh, I don't know. I liked it better the old way. I really did. Well, I feel I, like I, they tried to squeeze lore in somewhere where it didn't need to be. Where right. it was unnecessary. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't know. I I, I just well, like like Brian just said, it it, it is in. Uh... The book, like Ahsoka, yes, a Jedi can use a red crystal lightsaber, but they they would more than likely heal the the, the, the damage to the lightsaber, causing it, I assume, to just turn white. That's why Ahsoka's are yeah. white blades. I think she purified it, yeah. So in other words, it'll never go back to its original color, whatever that color right. may have been. Right. Okay. Well, it would just it would just be the uh, the natural color of it. All right, let's see here. Um, well, white is the natural really, color. It's really it. cool to, it's really cool to come across somebody. You know what I mean? I know I keep saying it, but it's it's really cool to come across somebody like this. <laughs> I didn't. I, be, with Press A Gaming, I'm so used to being so separate from uh, from Realm of the Mist, even though it's all part of the same thing. Right. I never once thought that I that we would meet somebody who was a fan of the podcasts from Press A did Gaming. Did you try calling me? Yes, I did. I was trying oh, to tell okay, you, there's a guy it. here you gotta talk to. Oh, yeah, I just saw it. <laughs> Sorry. Huh. Didn't you uh, say something once in a video about an Infinity Crystal lightsaber? Did I? I believe that's you. I think we did. Didn't we talk about that? Infinity Crystal, Infinity Stone. <laughs> that that would be a very scary thing if an Infinity Stone was like a Kyber Crystal or an Infinity Stone appeared in the Star Wars universe. Oh my God, dude, that's gonna be sick. Uh, no, like, oh yeah, I did say something about that one time. It was kind of a cosplay thing I, idea that I had. Of, uh, because when Infinity War came out, I just went on this fucking Infinity Stone rampage where I got these, like, plastic fish tank stones you put in the bottom of, you know, of an aquarium that were the colors of the Infinity Stones, and like, right. I went all fucking out. Like, I was just, everything was Infinity Stone, you know? And I was talking <laughs> about making, like, a golden gauntlet lightsaber with the Infinity Stones as the power source, you know? And you know what I mean? Like, oh, and you God. actually had the powers of the Infinity Stones and the blade, you know, shit like that. But I thought it would have been cool. Oh, nice. Monies. Lots and lots of monies. Oh, you gotta love money. Huh. In this game, I need monies. I don't know if you noticed, I went through a whole lot of supplies. I gotta replace them. Huh. I've got to replace them. Alright, that's useful. I don't know what's here. Oh, man. Who's your favorite droid in canon or EU? Uh, HK-47. Oh. That's a good one. Oh, shit. God damn it. That's a good question. Um, favorite droid. Um. Canon or EU? That's what he said. Oh, man. That is fucking broad. Um. Fake. Shit, dude. Like, okay, look, we have a lot of memorable ones nowadays. It's like they're focusing a lot more on droid personality. Like, you have, you know, in the new co in the canon, you've got H uh, K2SO, you've got Chopper. Um, I know Chris is going to throw up in his mouth when I say this, but you got L3, you've got um, Mr. Bones, <laughs> you've got, uh, I mean, you've got all, you've got BB-8, you know, you've got all these new droids, BBE-9. You know, uh, or BB-9E, the, the black BB droid. Oh, I, uh, I do get a kick out of BB-9E. Yeah, um, you know, you've got all these new droids that are coming to the forefront 
of uh, Star Wars now. It's like, yeah, God, there's so many. Then you've got everything in like Knights of the Republic. You got T3M4. You've got HK47. You've got. all day now though kind of look growing up and looking back at it a little bit r5 d4 oh yeah dude i share his fucking i share his outlook on life my motivator is constantly broken um <laughs> is that or that or the I gong droid you know what i gotta i gotta go oh, yeah, the gong. I gotta give gonk. it to the gong droid the most overlooked droid in the universe no <laughs> i'm gonna give it to the gonk droid that was being tortured in Jabba's palace. So I was like, no, 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 ow! Yeah. <laughs> that sums up every day of my life. Um, there you go. Jesus, so then you've got EV-99, who was talking to 3PO and R2 in Jabba's palace. You know, you know what I'm talking about? A yes or no will do. You know that one. You've got OOM9. You've got all the fucking battle droids. Jesus Christ. I re that's a really good question. I'm gonna have to say... I'm gonna have to say Chopper. I'm who gonna would... To, I'm gonna have to give it to... I'm gonna have to give it to Chopper. Who would win in a fight? Mr. Bones, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make this as, as, <laughs> as even as I can here. Mr. Okay. Bones, which is a psychotic freaking murder bot. Oh yeah, no, he's the canon version of HK. Or HK. Oh, shit! Uh, I'm gonna say Mr. Bones. You really think like, Bones? I, Bones would take I out? I think so. Uh, mainly because look, uh, Mr. Bones made an appearance in the Poe Dameron comic. Uh, Snap Wexley was like, "Hey, download this uh, AI that I'm sending to you to your communicator into that droid." <laughs> and so he does, and it's Mr. Bones, right? So it's like <laughs> he like it's the return of Mr. Bones, and he comes out and starts ripping people apart. <laughs> you don't really ever see HK do it, you just hear about it. I mean, you know he can do it, it's just... I just, I, I like to think Mr. Bones w would have it, just because I think Mr. Bones' personality for me is more of a win than HK. HK's is just more like, oh, you're a meatbag, you know, like, you know, death to all meatbags, like, that's all it was. <laughs> but Mr. Bones had personality, you know what I mean? Like, and there was, and there was even a part in, in the... Uh, which Aftermath novel was it? I think it was Empire's End, where he's like half destroyed and he does the whole HK-47 thing. He goes, Inquiry, and he says something about being a meatbag, and I'm like, Ooh, Oh my god, what is the HK reference? Yeah, that was, that was a blatant HK reference. That was, yeah, that was freaking awesome. Absolutely loved it. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, I'm gonna have to go with Mr. Bones. All right, but here, here's the here's the question. You, you got our answers. Uh, you would agree would uh, would be Bones. Is that your uh, favorite of the droids? <laughs> oh. Is it two on one here? Am I the only one sticking oh, with geez. the uh, EU? Oh no. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm not an EU purist. I just love the character. Oh, uh, you loved L three. Oh, there you go. You're just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. I wanted to hear you. Start. Oh, man. Me to think of you bombad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Yes. <laughs> He's, wait, what? He's leaving? I, I don't know. No Jar Jar. <laughs> Misa. Jar Jar. Oh, God. Oh, no. This guy's right after my own heart. Holy shit. <laughs> Me, Misa thinking Yuza needs some midi chlorians. Oh my god. That's right. How many people can I uh, can I offend in one sentence? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Misa midi chlorians are bomb bad. <laughs> hey, Malice, if you really want to get under Chris's skin, <laughs> oh, even, uh, just, even talk Jen. About, just talk about freeing all of your droid brothers and sisters or something. Oh, God. Oh my god, look at the size of this map. I didn't think I was going that deep in. I know, oh, I know, that's what she said. <laughs> what 
Yeah, even Jen's cursing me out for the uh, <laughs> for the Jar Jar Binks stuff. Okay. Yeah, she's a keeper. She's a keeper. <laughs> oh lord. Oh my god. All right, guys. Well, we're 120, or yeah, one hour and 20 minutes in. Thank you, man. We we appreciate it very, very much. We love you too. Uh, but with being 120 minutes in, I think the next save point that I find on the map will be where we end this episode because uh, I did not expect going in here would be this long. <laughs> Uh, to get to the exit point. I really thought with that boss fight that was going to be it there, and little did I know, we wound up in so much more. So. <laughs> right? Kind of hijacked your, uh, hot your uh, video, though. Didn't mean to. Yeah, definitely, and, and definitely keep an eye out, and as I said, on Tuesdays, uh, Brian and myself with uh, David Fishcorn of uh, the Cocky Cockpit are uh, rocking out some Battlefront too. so if you want to hear us talk Star Wars and really potty mouth humor <laughs> <laughs> definitely come check that out you can find it on uh, Doc in the Blue Boxes stream or my stream or the Cocky Cockpits uh, stream on Twitch <laughs> <laughs> right on well, thanks for hanging out with us Malice I appreciate it and as long as you keep, as long as you keep uh, checking us out, we'll make sure we're constantly putting out more content. <laughs> Which Brian, you can you can actually confirm something real quick. The yeah. return of Canon Library is this coming week, correct? Uh, I had planned for September first, but uh, I think I'm gonna have to wait just another month to get the the podcast going again because I'm closing on a house next week. Um. And uh, me and Chris are in the middle of packing everything up. I'm going to have to start tearing the library down and get it moved. And then once I get it moved, I'm going to have to set everything back up and wait for internet to be installed over there before I can get going again. Yeah. So, so I am I am in the middle of a big move right now. Me and Kirstie are buying our first house. So uh, that's that's uh, that's pretty much the forefront of everything I'm doing other than work right now. <sighs> you know, so... But once, once I get moved... Uh, I'm gonna set up. Uh, Kirsty already said I can have my own bedroom in there to keep everything in. So I'm gonna turn the closet into a sound booth. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of shit installed in there. So uh, it's actually gonna be hopefully a lot higher production value. So so we're gonna we're gonna hit it hard. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Uh, having like a little Oracle command center going. So. There you go. Oracle or Watchtower. Whichever. I know, you, Matt, but, uh, I, I know you're not yeah. a big uh, Batman fan, so... Yeah. So. He, he, he's in, he's I'm, in I'm that... Superman guy. Yeah. He, he, li he likes uh, Pretty Little Fly Boys. <laughs> Boy Scouts. I love that Boy Scout. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but. Jesus. Well, right on. We appreciate you hanging out with us. Definitely appreciate you supporting us and look forward to seeing you on more of the podcasts <laughs> and videos. Yeah, you too. Oh, have a good night. Yeah, have a good night, brother. Good talking to you, man. That is awesome. That was freaking cool. That made my night. I really did not expect, especially because of how it started off, was yeah. literally like... I thought he was joking, and he thought that I was bullshitting him. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, it was wonderful, though. I loved it. That's really neat. Oh man. So, all right. Never well, gets old. Guy, to to the uh, to the people on YouTube that are watching this for the video game aspect. Sorry, we kind of <laughs> hijacked it on you for Star Wars, but yeah, I am so sorry. How often, <laughs> how often do you get the opportunity to to accidentally discover a fan of your other side of your your entertainment right? productions, you know, right? <laughs> while That's playing a game? And you know, when that kind of stuff happens, it, it, it like you said earlier, it, it reminds you of why you do what you do. You know, oh, it absolutely. gives you the motivation to do it. You know, and it's it's absolutely because look, you and I, 
we've had conversations about this, and, and it's no secret. It gets old after a while. Doing it over and over and over again, it gets tedious. That's the word, tedious. Mm -hmm. And monotonous, you know? You just come home, sit down, record. You know, go to work, come home, sit down, record. You know, it's like, but, it, it, but at the same time, it's fun doing it. It's just once in a while, it's like when people ask me if I get burnt out on the Canon library on doing books. Hell yeah, I get burnt out. There are times I get halfway through a book and I just put it down like, ugh. Do I have to keep doing this? Like, but then, but then something like this to like tonight happens, and it reminds you of why you do what you do, and and it's, you know, and it doesn't even matter if you're not big or not, you know. It, it's it's just it's cool to come across somebody like that, you know, a like-minded person that you can sit down and just bullshit with, you know. Right. No, That's you're absolutely you're absolutely right, and of course I wind up in a boss fight while we're talking. Uh, <laughs> So we got we got time to talk here because I can't quit till the boss fight's done. True story. But uh, oh yeah, definitely the uh, that was that was definitely something I did not see coming when I came, sat down, especially because I'm playing Final Fantasy XII, and I, I took a page yeah. out of your book. I took a page out of your book and actually allowed the. Uh, the, uh, the, comments uh, on the, side. the comments on the side, because normally I don't, especially on games like Final Fantasy XII, because yeah. on Twitch-wise, people don't really watch it. It gets right. more attention on YouTube than it does live on Twitch, so I right. really didn't even because expect to have, have the, anybody... You already have the chat board off to the side on Twitch. Right. And, and so I really never... Expect to see anybody involved in anything. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me a second here. Uh, missed. Quickening. Nothing. You bastard. Nothing. Missed. What do you got? Yay! Let's do things. Let's do it quickly. <laughs> Thank you. Uh No holding back. Oh my yeah, god. No, it's really cool to come across somebody like that. It really is. I know oh, I keep saying it, but it's just that's that's the second time now that that's happened. For me anyway. First for me. Was it? Oh yeah. I mean uh that's cool. I mean, we've made fans with the live shows and stuff like uh, Kevin Hunter and and all, but mm -hmm. uh, but as far as like actually becoming, uh, let me hold on a second. I'm looking for uh, something to. Damn it! <laughs> all right, well you're just gonna have to heal everybody. Um, damn it! not what I wanted and I don't have oh you know it sucks I don't have any way of he uh, raising anybody who died <laughs> oh my god more of them are showing up this is not good <laughs> Got nothing. You have Kira, thank God. Uh, Kira. Oh, I didn't even realize she's got. Oh my God. <laughs> she's got something that's going to be very useful, but can I? Can I get rid of... I can't, they're locked in. Damn it. There you go, there you go, there you go. Go to town, go to town. <laughs> let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's see if we can't kill this guy before it's too late. Alright, we get a feral strike out of this too. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Oh my god, come on. Oh, I only got two hits out of it, damn it. I want it better. 
That's all right, though. We're, we're still in this. We're still fighting the good fight. Uh, the biggest thing I'm worried about is Doom, because Doom, after a while, will kill the party. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, good. You guys are still here. Brian, I forgot to ask, can I get a bookmark? <laughs> oh, Malice? He's yep. back? Yep. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah man, you can get a bookmark? Shit! No, yeah, man. Just, uh, send me, uh, actually, uh, I'm assuming you know the email address, StarWarsCanLibrary at gmail.com. Shoot me a message on there with your home address and I'll send you one, brother. There you go. Oh, yeah, so, that's pretty cool. We will make sure that you have the opportunity to uh, get yourself a bookmark. <laughs> oh my god, get out of there. Get out of Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's freaking cool. Oh, Kirsty's walking in. There you go. Now you can tell her about the fun oh, little yeah, adventure. Oh yeah, tell her about it. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Well, I'm gonna hop off here, brother. I'm gonna. I gotta get in bed, and so. Absolutely, you do so. Cool. I will talk to you later, brother. All right. Oh, then they <laughs> killed her. No. Oh, All I'm right, down later. to my last two guys. All right, later. <laughs> later. My last guy. No. I have nothing for this. Oh, no. I think I'm bone, guys. I have a way of running away. Can I run away? I'm trying to flee. I don't think I'm going to get the opportunity. Nope, we are done. Nothing I can do about it, guys. That's all right. We're going to end it right here. Thanks very much for hanging out with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the Convert Star Wars conversation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, next time we will try this boss fight again and see where we can get from there. Uh, make sure you hit like on the uh, video and, of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave comments down below. Check out the other great Let's Plays of Press A Gaming as well as all the great podcasts of Rum Limits Entertainment. We will catch you next time on Press A Gaming and Final Fantasy XII. Have a good night.